Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars, where we are currently working on stabilizing our colony a little bit. It's been a little exciting recently, to be sure. We do have a rocket on the way back, that is of course Caladrius 1, and I can't remember. This is a new play session. Was that a uh, passenger rocket? Can we see what it's carrying? I'm going to assume that's a passenger rocket. Oh wait, no, it's traveling to Earth. We haven't decided what it's going to be yet. Okay, I gotcha. I think it's going to be a passenger rocket, though, judging by what I'm seeing here. So, we've got a fair amount of everything but machine parts. We do need some machine parts. Do we have a factory that produces machine parts? I can't remember if this one does. It does, but we need rare metals for that to happen, which means we need this guy to be repaired, which needs machine parts. Okay, so this rocket has to then be a supply rocket. It cannot be a passenger rocket. Sounds good. Now, we did also have this finish up, which I don't remember mentioning before, so I don't think I noticed that this finished. Let's go ahead and set up a new flatten order from right here straight across to say right here and then we'll flatten over here as well after that we'll go ahead and set the rc dozer to doing that excellent and of course our ramp is still in progress very slowly where is our rc commander at he's up over here right now because we were gathering these metals that's right Okay. Sounds good. So, realistically, when this rocket gets back to Earth, we need to launch it back basically immediately. We're actually kind of running out of concrete, but we have plenty of concrete in, in or rather, available here. Are we going to run out of power overnight? I suspect we might run out of power overnight. A rocket arrived back at Earth, though, so let's go ahead and send a cargo rocket. Now, we don't have a huge amount of funding right now, so that's something we're going to need to be concerned about. We're going to need a source of funding soon enough, and I actually don't know how to do that. But we definitely need to bring a few machine parts. And I'm going to bring, like, 50 machine parts. I'm also going to bring a couple extra polymers. We are producing polymers, but very slowly. I'm going to bring a few extra electronics. We are not producing those yet. We do have a source of metals. It's not a great source, but it's a source. So I'll only bring a couple of, of metals. Like, eh, we'll go for that. And then maybe like 20 polymers and electronics. This is really cheap, actually. Oh no, this is how much money we have left. Yikes. We're basically out of money. Okay. Well, we have another 14,000 kilograms. We could bring more metals. Or potentially seeds? Seeds are cheap. We produce seeds, though. So I need to figure out how exports work. That's for sure. I would like to export renewable resources if we can. I don't know if that's even a thing. Okay, um, what else do we need? I mean, we could just save the, remain the remainder of this money. There we go. So we have very little money. It looks like the only thing that we can export is rare metals, though. I'm pretty sure. We do have a source of rare metals, right here, and we do have an extractor for it, but we need to be producing a few things to make that actually work. How's our power going to last for the rest of the night? I'm thinking not great. Yeah, drone heavy load. That's fine. Okay, we have a dome without life support. Nobody's living here, right? Yeah, nobody's living in this dome right now, so that's fine. This dome here is currently lacking in power. 
well, it, it's it's got life support. Okay, the sun is rising. Solar panels will be deployed. There we go. Excellent. And now when this rocket gets back, we'll be able to just drop it probably at this pad. And then we'll get a bunch of repairs done and hopefully get some various things deployed. We do need some more food. Our food is currently a little on the low side. That said, I think we're fine on the food production. We can always flip one of these over to, or from seeds to food. But for right now, I want to be on seeds. Complete. Hey, Dozer Rover has completed. Okay, what else do we have? More applicants. Could definitely use more funding. Maybe we should keep going down the social tree and see if there's more of these one-time grant fundings or if we can get an ongoing, like, per soul funding. That would sure be nice. Although topology AI would also be pretty handy. So let's go ahead and do that quick. Okay, the construction site is being cleared. I'm surprised we have drones down here. What's... Oh, yeah, the drone hub is right there. Okay. Excellent. Sector scanned. Okay, no resources in that sector. Well, let's continue scanning. Look at all these rare metals up here. That's pretty nice, actually. But I want to expand down here first. We've got a lot of a, a lot of research over here, a little bit of concrete. But we need this to finish and then maybe flatten over here as well before we can expand down here. But that's okay. We'll just clear out all of this waste rock. And our rocket is almost back from Earth. Is good, because that is very necessary at this point. We need those electronics. Very badly. There's a reason I brought 50 of them. Bring it in. ASAP. There we go. Excellent. So yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. The capturing of ice asteroids has been successfully completed. With the use of special craft, we pursued and deflected the asteroids off their trajectory with nothing more than slight bumps. Thus, we have managed to gracefully steer large amounts of soon-to-be-easily-accessible water towards the surface of Mars. In this game of Space Billiard, though, there's always a chance that the ball will hit the wrong pocket. Be ready to deal with a Mars quake. Well, we'll see if that becomes a thing. For right now, we will need to just bring this, bring this rocket back, and we'll land it on this pad here. Okay. Realistically, looking at this, I'm wondering why don't we have a universal depot next to each of our cargo pads and our trade pad? I don't get it. So we send we can send our rockets to go to other locations, right? Can we request them to send their rockets to us? Like, hypothetically, if we were to go to the planetary view here and talk to the USA and say, we would like hmm, polymers. Okay, they, they're only able to offer polymers, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I was looking for. Russia, what do you got? It looks like they can't give us rare metals. Okay. It's unfortunate. But understandable, I guess. Okay, have we gotten all of these metals? 
No, we have not. Is this depot full of metals? It is full of metals. That would be why. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a second universal depot. Right there. For right now. And then we'll get the rest of these metals out of there. And then we could use an RC transport eventually. But this rocket is ready to land, and we'll just drop it Resources right are here. Low. low on food, apparently, but our food is higher than it was previously, so I think we're fine. There we go, this rocket's ready to go. Well, as soon as it gets refueled. Are we still unloading this one? Yes, we are. Okay. This guy is waiting for a seed. We do have seeds around. So they should get to it eventually. Now the real question is, did we accumulate enough power during the day? I sure hope so. Yeah, now we just need people up over here. So this rocket is going to be high priority refuel. This rocket low priority Resources refuel as it already is set up. That's perfect. But we do need people for the rare metals here. Russia is offering... Oh my. No. We need our machine parts. Get out of here, Russia. Honestly. Who do they think we are? <laughs> okay. Let's, um... For right now, we're doing okay on metals. Let's go ahead and bring the Drone Commander down over here to work on our ramp. So that we can help out our power a little bit. And then, realistically, I think we've got additional metals up over here that we can grab. Yeah, we've got a fair number of metals on the ground up over here. That should keep us going for a while. And these guys are working on the ramp. Fantastic. Okay, we're ready to send this guy back to Earth, and so we shall. And he's on his way back, and we are going to need to bring in additional people. Sector scanned. Now, realistically, we've got our grocer up over here, right? Yeah. There's not enough workers. It can't store very much food, which is, I think, the reason why we don't have very much food. Where can we store food? Does that go in Universal Depots? Surely... Oh, actually it does. It can be stored in Universal Depots. In that case, we may want to drop another Universal Depot over here, next to that pad. Maybe yet another over here. I mean, it's not, strictly speaking, necessary, but... And I mean, we do have more food production over here once we get more people. Oh, we found some water. That's nice, I suppose. And our rocket is halfway back to Earth. Fantastic. Well, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to bring in additional people, because we've definitely overbuilt our jobs. And we need to bring in more people to run the jobs. So we're going to do that. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.